A lot of things they take into account when you talk about being viewed as a top five quarterback. It's not a laundry list. This, this is a list that, you know, it has to be taken very seriously. Well, one final time for uh, this 2023 NFL season. Uh, obviously, the uh, the top five quarterback list has to continue to go on even in the last week, but it is not a Super Bowl list. Uh, so obviously, I told you guys I'd go back through uh, and calculate all my numbers of who was top five through the entire regular season. Uh, obviously, I st still did it in the playoffs, but this top five list will only be the regular season, and then I'll just kind of throw in some names that were honorable mentions that barely missed out on the list. So uh, for any of you listening, watching, I did this by going through my top five list, giving five points for the guy who finished first, uh, one point for the guy who finished fifth, and tallied all those together. So here's my uh, honorable mentions and top five list for the 2023 NFL season. Uh, so let's, uh, let's start off going from least amount of points uh, to greatest amount of points here in, in, in the honorable mentions. Uh, so guys that didn't make it into my top five list, but I still think were, uh, were great quarterbacks this year, were Baker Mayfield with eight points, Patrick Mahomes with nine points, Matthew Stafford and Joe Burrow with 11 points, Josh Allen and C.J. Stroud with 12 points, and my last guy missing out in this, in this top five list is Jordan Love with 16 points. Um, but let's, uh, let's take it on to the, the number five spot, uh, for, or the number five quarterback for the 2023 NFL season, uh, number five, Tua Tungavaloa. He finished with 17 total points over the season. Uh, and for a quarterback that people say doesn't have an NFL caliber arm, he was one of the better deep ball throwers in the league this year, uh, consistently threw with anticipation into empty windows. Um, I mean, he's a three to five step drop maestro if you can keep him in rhythm. Uh, he was absolutely great uh, this year. The interceptions were a little bit high for my liking compared to the touchdowns. Uh, but hey, there's always growth. Um, and until obviously the playoffs, um, he was he was great. Uh, so uh, Tua Tungabaloa finishes number five on my list. And moving on to the number four guy. Uh, number four, our MVP winner, Lamar Jackson. Lamar had 18 points uh, this year. So Lamar came into the season with a new coordinator, new weapons. Um, I mean, there was continued questions on if he could develop into a pocket passer, especially with the new coordinator, new weapons. And I think he uh, answered the bill, uh, especially towards the end of the season. Um, uh, he, obviously, we know how great Lamar Jackson is in the second play. We know how great he is um, it just in running the football in general, one of the greatest scramblers we've ever seen in football. Um, but he definitely took that next step in terms of starting to elevate receivers um, and start to throwing on time, being a good pocket passer, although that ended up being the demise in the playoffs. Uh, but obviously the next step for Lamar is now to show, can you throw with anticipation? Like me and Alex had said all year, like he needs to be able to start throwing guys open and throwing into windows. But Lamar Jackson, dominant uh, whenever he played, um, and especially down the stretch, he was one of the most dominant players in football, definitely deserved the MB MVP and deserves this number four spot in the uh, top five quarterbacks of 2023. Moving on to number three, Michael, you won't like this one. Number three, Dak Prescott of the Dallas Cowboys had 23 points. Um, I mean, Dak uh, was surgical this year. Uh, until the playoffs, we saw a different decisive uh, processor who didn't necessarily make mistakes all that much. He, he played really, really good football until the playoffs. Um, but obviously what happens to Dallas Cowboys and uh, Dak Prescott in general, uh, whenever they hit the playoffs is now where they need to, where he needs to continue to elevate and improve. Um, Dak Prescott is one of the best red zone uh, score zone maestros in all of the game. Uh, most of the touchdowns he scored were in the red zone and the score zone. Um, so he, he knows how to put the ball in the end zone and hopefully that continues for Dallas's sake. And then obviously, uh, the narrative of what he does in the playoffs, like that, that's, that's got to change uh, if they want to go back and win another Super Bowl at first since like 95. So, uh, but Hey, San Francisco's got the same kind of thing going on. Uh, anyway, moving on to number two, we got Jared Goff. Uh, number two had 24 points to so beating Dak out by one point. Uh, Jared Goff uh, continues to prove doubters wrong. He's in the perfect place in Detroit with Dan Campbell um, and the weapons that he has. I mean, I've said it over and over and over again. He's one of the best play action quarterbacks in the league, if not the best quarterback throwing out of play action in the league. Um, he was aggressive in pushing balls downfield. He made uh, plays look routine. 
Um, I'm being able to hit Amon Ross St. Brown consistently in the middle of the field, taking advantage of uh, defenses that were vacating zones. Uh, it, perfect, perfect city, perfect organization for him to flourish. And he's only going to continue to get better and continue to doubt Jared Goff because he loves it. And this Detroit Lions team loves it. And they will come back. And they're, the, and as Pat McAfee says, they're the uh, brand new Lions. Uh, but anyway. Moving on to uh, my number one quarterback of 2023-2024. Uh, Curtis, you're going to love this one. Ending with 35 points, Brock Purdy. Uh, so Brock Purdy is my number one quarterback for the 2023-2024 season. Uh, Brock uh, Brock Purdy consistently played well all season long. Um, who knows if all that's the Shanahan system. In reality, it's not. The, the dude actually balled. Uh, he continued to gel Shanahan really well, um, and he showed elite ball placement. Uh, he, he threw with anticipation, uh, making right reads, keeping the offense on schedule. Um, and then there was plenty of times that went he went against the Cam Newton uh, game manager uh, tag that was that was coined about Purdy in extending plays with his legs, making plays there um, that most game managers or all game managers don't make. Uh, like Alex Smith has pointed out, um, I mean the guy's legit. Uh, he's only in his second year and he's been in the NFC Championship twice. I'm not going to say he's Tom Brady. I'm not going to say he's Patrick Mahomes because obviously, as we've seen here in the playoffs, Patrick Mahomes is still the best quarterback in the league. Um, and it's Patrick Mahomes and everybody else. But in terms of the play of this season, Brock Purdy was definitely the best quarterback in the NFL, at least in the regular season. Um, and he's definitely uh, got all the right tools to continue to elevate himself, continue to work with this offense um, and I would say he's a top 10 quarterback in this league, but Brock Purdy, my number one quarterback uh, for the 2023-2024 season. And then obviously come playoff time, it is uh, the almost goat Patrick Mahomes is definitely your number one guy. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's uh, it for the 2023-2024 season. We'll definitely keep this thing rolling in 2024. Let me know if you hated this, this list. Um, all right, let me know in the comments. We'll debate everything. Uh, but everything's backed up with film each and every week, graded this thing out, and that's just how things rolled. So Brock Purdy uh, won by my number, number 11 points. So uh, Brock Purdy, number one quarterback of 2023, and uh, we'll see you again next year.